Hi, this is Pastor Troy Bond with Raven Ministries of New Orleans. We're here literally sitting at Ground Zero here in New Orleans, Louisiana, in St. Bernard Parish. St. Bernard Parish has gone on record as the, the greatest natural disaster. Let me start all over again. You're fine. Just let it run. We can clip that out. Hi, this is Pastor Troy Bond with Raven Outreach Ministries in New Orleans. We're seated here at Ground Zero of the Hurricane Katrina in St. Bernard Parish. Just in the last few days, we've seen literally hundreds of cars come through at the relief centers, getting food and especially ministry. Each year, we bring a team in from all over the nation. This year, we've had people come from as far away as California and the, the, the nation of Canada and, and Ohio and Indiana. People have come from all over this place during an event called Mardi Gras. And I'm sitting with a pastor friend of mine, Pastor Sam Krogan, who's also joined this team this year. And I've asked people to come together, especially people that has been their first time in the city during Mardi Gras, to just tell you what it's meant to them and how it changed their lives. Pastor Sam, this is your first time to come into the city during, during Mardi Gras. Now, you not just came yourself, but you not only that, but you brought your, your wife, Lucy, and you brought two teenagers with you. Sometimes people would think that this isn't a place for, for teenagers to come during Mardi Gras because you got a son that's, what, 17? That's right. And a daughter that's, that's 14. 14 years old. And he and his family said, you know what, we want to come and be a part of that. First, uh, tell me what, what, what prompted you to come to the city to begin with, Pastor Sam. What prompted us to come to the city was our heart for people. We knew not only were the people that were in this city coming to Mardi Gras, were they lost because they were just giving themselves over to worldly things, but they were also hurting people because not only do they have this thing called Mardi Gras, but they also had this big storm called Katrina that came and hit their hit their town. And, and they were, they're needy people. Not only do they need physical things, but they need spiritual things as well. So we wanted to come and help them receive both, not only the physical, but also the spiritual. We wanted to be able to come and share the love of Jesus with them. Pastor Sam, I know you've, you've seen a lot of lives changed, and I'll probably ask you for a testimony in just a second, but how's your life been changed, Pastor? Whew. It's hard to put it into words. Uh, all I can say is that what has happened the last several days has truly brought the Scripture to life that says it will not be by power, it will not be by might, but it will be by my Spirit, says the Lord God Almighty because nothing that's happened this week has been by anything that I or anybody else has been with us has done. It's all been by the Holy Spirit. He's done it through us to touch the lives of these people. And Pastor, what would you say to other pastors that are around the country that are obviously busy with their schedules and the things at their churches and say, you know what, that's just not for me and you know I'm too busy to do those things. And, and also is maybe a parent or a father that would say, you know what, man, I definitely would not want to send my children into that type of environment. What would be your advice is, first as a, as, a, uh, as a pastor and secondly as a parent of someone that say, you know what, I, I wouldn't know if I'd want my children to be subjected to that. What would be your advice from, from your personal experience in this situation? Well, first of all, as a pastor to other pastors, I would tell you to get off your butts and do something. You know, it's, you take and you hear the word evangelist, and you think that you have to be an evangelist to come out on the streets. You don't, because we're not all called to be evangelists, but we are all called to evangelize. And all you have to do is just share the love of Jesus and what he has done in your life, and just let them know that 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 what he's done in your life, he can also do in theirs. He can set them free. And as a pastor, telling other pastors, get up, get out of your church, get out of those four walls. You're not accomplishing anything there. You need to get out so you can touch lives. Those that are sitting in your church, 90% or more of those people, they already know who Jesus Christ is. Right. But the people out on the streets that are suffering and in pain, they need to know as well. And as a father, to parents that have children, all of our children is going to have to face the world sometime in our lives. Right. And it's my opinion that we want to make sure that our children experience the world on our terms, Come on. not the world's terms. We get to go out and share with them and let them see what really goes on and then allow them to have a heart for other people's hurts other people's concerns and through that hurt through that compassion as another brother just said the other day they take that compassion they go out and share the love of Jesus themselves so they see the world on, on God's terms instead of the world's terms Amen. you heard it right from the horse's mouth thank you Pastor Sam I appreciate you coming look forward to having you next year as well Amen, Amen.